Now that I've just messed my hair up, let's get into it. Hi everyone, how are you today? I am back at you with another craft kit testing. This time it's a Crayola kit. We're gonna make our own paint today. Along with the usual unboxing and review of this, I'm gonna be testing it of course, but I'm also going to be comparing the paint that we make in this with the pre-made Crayola washable paint this stuff and of course some cheap acrylic paint this is my go-to i always get it from walmart and michael's craft smart and apple barrel so we're gonna see if crayola paint is actually worth it before i get into this i just want to let you guys know that come january if you guys are not familiar there may be some changes around youtube i'm not sure how drastically i'll have to change my channel come that time if it does so happen that i can't do kids craft kits at that point i just want to get them all out of the way with so i don't waste anything that i already bought and i know that you guys like seeing these so um, let's keep our fingers crossed that I will be able to continue doing these every once in a while, but I do honestly really love growing and doing more mature craft kits and projects and everything. And I know that a lot of you have been asking me to do DIYs and like room transformations and stuff like that. And I will be getting to those. There's just been a lot going on, a lot of self growth and self care that I've been trying to practice and just so many business decisions. So trust me, I am working hard behind the scenes. I love you guys and your support keeps me going. And now before I get too sappy, let's get into this. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Seriously, like this is me trying not to like get all mushy, but okay. Where are my scissors? Say scissors. <laughs> Lots of paint containers. Oh, it looks like a, an artist palette. And then on the bottom, there's, oh my gosh, you can set all the containers in here. That's actually such a cool design. There's this bag full of randomness. That looks like a paint base of some sort. Is it molded? Oh, wait, maybe they're just air bubbles. I think they're just bubbles. So some of these pieces are to connect the parts of the set together. And there's a blue handle, a paintbrush, the paint base container with a blue screw on cap that is like a ketchup and mustard type, you know, squirt bottle <laughs> contraption. There are color strips. There are 10 sheets of paper here. And then in the instructions tucked away, we have paint labels, there are 15 of these, three sheets of five, and a mixing guide, this chart here. All the magic is going to take place here, I think. This reminds me of Mousetrap, and honestly, I was really sad as a kid because I never had that game, and I thought it would be the coolest thing ever. And then when I tried to play it somewhere, I'm like, this isn't as intense. I always thought products just were like, not as fun as they showed on TV. So I'm gonna let you guys know if you should buy this for your kids or little ones in your family or yourself, you know. To get started, I'm going to first assemble the base here. So I have two of these snapped in already, these two at the back. I'm going to just snap this one. It kind of is a bit difficult, like you have to really snap it down there. Okay, just kidding. It was, one of them was, but that looked pretty easy. So I'm gonna get this one, just make sure it's nice and firm in place. After that, I'm going to take the two side pieces, so the ones that look like paint, pa pa paint palettes, <laughs> and I'm going to snap those. Okay, wait, these, oh, there we go. That was a little, whoa, whoa. That is not going how it should. Get in there. There we go. You're supposed to be able to fold it up like this and it makes a lot of noises. There we go. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. And can fold up. And there is this nifty handle that you can snap into place so you can carry the whole set, but then the paint would be facing this way. Um, it would not be right side up, so I don't know about that. 
Now I'm going to put all the other pieces into their places. So I did remove the protective uh, cover from the paint and it does smell pretty bad, honestly. I don't like the smell of Crayola paint, at least not this kind, if they have other kinds. Um, like the watercolor paint doesn't smell, but whatever kind of paint this is, this washable tempera or acrylic, I have no idea what it is. It doesn't smell good, but I am just twisting on this nozzle here so this will make it easier to squirt it into the containers this goes here there's a spot for the paintbrush we'll put him here um, it doesn't snap i don't think but that's okay all these containers have their own little compartment so i really do like the design of this they actually go in very firmly okay <laughs> you gotta set it in at the exact right angle though correct angle oh but opening them, hold on. Oh, opening them is pretty easy. You just gotta make sure you're holding down so the whole set doesn't lift up. Probably the coolest thing about this set is this little compartment here. So you can open this up, maybe. Does it open? Maybe it doesn't open all the way. Um, so, okay, you just kind of open it up a little bit and then you can put the paint color strips inside. Here they are. Oh cool they come so you kind of have to sort them i guess and you want to arrange them into the compartments wow this is they really want you to be interactive here and we'll do yellow red blue and each little rectangle has five strips on it so there are 75 of these total i believe Okay, now let's mix the paint. It comes with this handy dandy color mixing guide and I'm gonna choose purple. So we'll need four strips of red and one blue. I figured this color would stand out the best against the machine since there's green, blue, red, and yellow. Um, so I wanted to choose between orange or purple. So we're doing purple. And all you have to do is take these strips and I separated them from the plastic and then just peeled them apart. There's five little strips on every color rectangle. Then over on this side, I'm going to take one of the containers, I already opened it, and I'm going to set it in the groove there. I'm gonna take the paint base. I'm gonna shake it up, I don't know if it says that. Then there is a fill line on this container. It's about halfway, so it's right here. I don't know if you can see it very clearly but I'm just gonna fill to there with this. Ooh, okay, that was a little bit hard to get off. So here goes the paint base. Uh oh, is that enough? It's right about it. Okay, then I'm going to drop the paint strips in. Put that in, put these in. And it says to make sure that you only put five strips in. It gives you the recipe for all of them, but all of them add up to five a piece. So then I'm gonna close this and make sure that it is shut tight. And I'm gonna move it to the paint shaker. So I'm gonna set that in and, oh, actually I have to set it like this and then turn it so it is secure like so. Then we go ahead and spin for about 30 seconds or as long as it takes for the paint to mix completely, which I am not gonna time it, but we'll see how long it takes. my gosh it's been about 30 seconds and it's like nowhere near mixed look at this look at this what it's like oh my gosh whoa 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 you guys can clearly see it's nearly all white what is going on let's open it up it's a start but it needs way more than 30 seconds after about a minute, maybe a minute, 15 seconds, it has mixed really well on the top. Like it's decent, but at the bottom, you can still tell that there's a lot of white. 
And here it is after about three minutes of mixing with the paint shaker. It might just be a better idea to get a toothpick at this point and mix the remaining. Also, after shaking for a while, some of the paint will seep down um, out of the lid basically over the edge here like you're seeing and it gets kind of messy It wastes a little bit of paint and there's really not that much in here So you don't want to waste the paint So I'm going to test the paint that I made for you guys very soon But first I am really curious to know if the kit comes with enough paint to fill all of these containers stay tuned There is good news guys, I was able to fill every single container to the fill line and there's about maybe a fourth of this paint left in the container that they gave. So I'm going to now test this paint and compare it to the uh, boxed Crayola paint. I gotta sink down in this chair so I'm in the frame. But I'm going to show you my first impression of the paint. I'm using the paper that they gave me, this really awful paintbrush. It's a bushy eyebrow. The little bristles are going every which way. All right, the paint feels nice and creamy. And here we go. I mean, it's paint. It's gliding on the page nicely. Whoop, 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 whoop. How is there a random black spot on me? What is that from? I mixed these two colors together to try and get something as similar as I could to the kit paint. So it's on here, which is actually the backing to the color strips. Whoops. And let's see. So it might be a little lighter, but that's not a big deal. Oops. It seems to basically be the same paint. Not really a surprise to me. Let's throw some Craftsmart acrylic paint into the mix and see how the consistency compares. Here is the official comparison between all these paints, the ones from the paint maker kit and the official Crayola paint. They both feel about the same and brushed on very similarly. It's not as rough and powdery feeling as these. And these paints do not smell nearly as bad as the Crayola ones, in my opinion. I'd say it's pretty awesome that this kit comes with just enough paint sample strips to make every single color on the paint maker chart. Don't step in paint. Everything's dry, it's okay. Leo, someone asked where you were last week. Tell them you were napping. <laughs> Life with a cat. Thanks, bud, bye. But it only comes with 2.5 ounces of paint total, meaning that this one white paint is all you get compared to in a pack of store-bought Crayola paints with all these colors. You get two ounces in each, so there's really not a lot of paint that comes with this kit in total. When it comes to value, definitely get the pre-mixed paint, but if you want a little bit of playability and fun, um, Leo is meowing and my dinner is done. Um, anyway, this kit is very unique and it takes a while to mix everything. Um, gosh. I allowed all the paint containers to sit overnight with their lids closed, of course, and now I am mixing them with a toothpick. This is so much quicker. It only takes about a minute per container and you can mix it completely this way. With the machine, it takes over three minutes and it doesn't mix completely. Plus it's super, super loud. Call me boring, but it was kind of giving me a headache and I just decided this would be the best thing to do. If you happen to enjoy my craft kit testing videos, I will link the entire playlist up in the corner over there, as well as in the description box below. As you can see, all the paints are mixed now, and I tested a chart of my own on the paper they gave. So it looks pretty similar, except for the greens. I am not impressed with the range of greens. It could be better, but the purples and oranges look really good.
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you back here next Friday for a brand new video. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Bye. We're gonna make our own paint today. I feel like a sassy 90s gal with this ponytail. I don't know, it might be moldy paint. Ooh. I don't know anymore, I don't know.